This is Alin from Javelin. In this video, I will try to solve the problem of collision inside SOLIDWORKS using mating. So I'm not going to use the fancy tools like the move component with collision detection or motion simulation. I'm going to try to have these two parts being able to, to move in regards to each other, but would never interfere as you drag them. And in order to show that, let me turn on the four view viewport so you can see projections on front top and and uh, left plane. So when I'm dragging this in, uh, we'll see what's happening when I'm getting close to, sorry, this is the fixed, this is the one that moves. Notice when I'm when the other one touches the, the fixed component, the brown one is the fixed one, it just moves around it, will never touch it. No matter, uh, I mean, it can touch it, but it will never interfere with it. So what's the key to achieving something like that. How can you ensure that no matter what, there will never gonna be interferences between uh, two parts? This solution would apply for a simplified case study where each part has only one face, like, like these two. In this particular solution, I'm adding another reference part. It's empty, does has just the origin and its planes. And if I'm turning on the front plane, you can see it right here. Allow me to show also the origins. So you can see the origin of this extra part. The maze that I'm applying here are ensuring that the origin sits on the fixed part. And the front plane, which I'm going to make uh, visible right now, is going to be tangent to both of them. So as I'm moving this away, a point on this part will always going to be tangent to the front plane. When I'm getting close to the brown part, which already has a tangency to the front plane, the only possible point of contact is that origin. So no matter what, the blue part cannot cross the front plane. And same thing for the brown part, they cannot cross the front plane. And you can scale this solution further by adding extra parts. So let me add one more, um, one more of these pebbles and two more of those dummy parts. So right now I have two parts coincident to the brown one with the tangencies. This one is tangent to both front planes and I have another part here that is resident on the white part. So no matter how I'm moving this in space, notice that this movement is controlled by this reference points and also reference planes. It means you will never going to have interference, just either collision or clearance between the parts. Thank you.